y'all, we gotta talk about what's going on in the tropics. This is potential tropical cyclone one. No, it has not been named yet. And yes, I'm waiting just like you are to see our tropical storm. The first one of the season likely going to be named here by the end of the day and also going to be impacting us right now. It's just this big mess of storms, clouds. The low pressure center is even difficult for the National Hurricane Center to find, according to them, because it's so disorganized and such a mess. It hasn't yet become that tropical storm. But again, that's expected to happen here later today. But guess what? Whether it becomes a storm or not, we're still going to see very uh, similar impacts just because of what level it's going to get to. It's going to stay very weak. Now, this thing is expected to be named later today. Take a sharp turn and then make landfall somewhere south of the valley around that late night Wednesday or early morning Thursday. Here's us. Here's the cone. The cone is where we're expecting the center of the storm to stay, not where all the impacts are going to be. We know that we're going to feel impacts as far north as the coastal bend of Texas and beyond even towards the Louisiana area. They're going to get some rain afterwards. It's of course going to be downgraded into a tropical depression as it pushes further inland on Thursday. But we're still going to be dealing with the rainfall all the way through this weekend. Now, if your phone didn't go off with a tropical storm warning, it's because you probably live further inland and you're not under this tropical storm warning. If you are on the coast, you're under this tropical storm warning and this is going to be lasting until Thursday. Also, quick note, look at what's going on right now. Couple little sprinkles. That's it. Heavier rainfall isn't going to start happening until later tonight. We also have a flood watch going on. This is a little bit more important than the tropical storm warning. I know the tropical storm warning is a little bit more of an eye grabber, but we're a lot more worried about the flood potential with all that rainfall than we are about seeing 39 to 55 mile per hour wind gusts on the coast. It is possible, but this is going to be our bigger threat. It's that rainfall building up. So timing of this thing this afternoon, we will see some scattered showers and maybe even some downpours or storm. But now it's starting to look like some of the heaviest part of this rain isn't going to kick off until later tonight, and I'm talking after midnight. Now, if you're going to be out later tonight, be careful. That flood watch starts at 7 p.m. and we could still see some heavy downpours before then. But the heaviest part of this rain with the highest rainfall rate could see two to three inches per hour. It's going to be early on your Wednesday morning during your commute to work and whatnot. Wednesday afternoon, we'll continue to see some of those heavy downpours. Temperatures should stay in the low to mid 80s, so it's not going to get as hot. And then Wednesday night into Thursday, it does look like some models are saying it's going to calm down a little bit, but I'm still expecting to see pretty high rain chances and also some potential for flooding as late as Thursday and maybe even Friday. So now let's look at the big picture. Here's this low pressure system out there in the Gulf. Here's us up here seeing some rain this afternoon and here's that wave where we're going to be dealing with some of the heavier downpours stretching all the way up along the coastal bend. By the way, we're not the only ones with flooding potential Houston and even the San Antonio area looking at flooding potential heading into the next few days. After it gets upgraded and the moves on shore is a tropical storm, we continue to see rainfall here in the valley all the way through Thursday. Then Friday, we'll see slightly lower rain chances, but notice that we're still seeing rain, just maybe not quite so heavy. And hopefully by this weekend, we'll see it a little bit more scattered, not so heavy, and hopefully that storm threat is going to also kind of back off. Through Monday, we're looking at seeing up to seven inches of rain for coastal areas, maybe more in some isolated locations and five inches for the upper valley. So again, the flooding is going to be the biggest concern. The overall piece picture of what you need to know is we're expecting heavy rain and even some storms over the next few days, upwards of seven inches of rain possible, area wide flooding as possible. And we're also looking at winds of 55 miles per hour. Again, that's only for the coast with that tropical storm warning. The flooding is going to be the biggest issue. Late tonight is when we start to see that 70% chance for rain. Until then, we're looking at a 40% chance. The heaviest rain is going to fall late tonight all the way through Thursday.